Today we're looking at another projector, this time the E3 Pro by Ito. It's got native 1080p resolution, but also supports 4K resolution. This one also has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. This one runs on Android and is Netflix certified. So it's gonna have pretty much all of the apps that you want. So this one's gonna have Chromecast and the Google Assistant built in. No need for an external device. It's got a fully sealed optical engine, so it's gonna be dust proof as well. It has auto keystone correction, Auto focus or you can do manual focus and keystone adjustments as well it's got 20 watt built-in speakers also has 500 ANSI lumens has HDR 10 decoding they're advertising over hundred and sixty thousand hours for the lifespan this one's also dust proof as well it's gonna work best on a screen up to 150 inches and this one's less than 30 decibels as far as how loud the fan is As you can see here, it's got the Hakko mini logo for the Android TV. Inside the box, you've got a user manual, a little bit larger than usual power adapter, fairly small remote control, sort of reminds me of what you would see with a Fire TV. You've got four shortcuts down here at the bottom, volume, Google Assistant, home button, back button, directional arrows, OK button, your power, and mute button as well. As you can see, it comes in a pretty nice travel bag. Here on the front, you get your auto focus and air ventilation. Here on the back is where you plug in the power, one USB port, one HDMI port, your remote control sensor, auxiliary port, air ventilation. You'll also notice it has a back cover and that's where you're gonna see your device that's plugged in for the Android TV. Up here on the top, you've got your power button, directional arrows, okay button, and back button. Here on the bottom, you've got some threads. If you wanna mount this to a tripod or a ceiling, Nice rubber feet here on the bottom as well. Now setup on this projector is gonna be very similar to a Chromecast. You can press and hold volume down and okay buttons for about 10 seconds to pair the remote control. Once you log in with your account, it's gonna look a lot like my Chromecast with Google TV on the home screen. There was also a software and security update, but luckily that didn't take very long before you see the boot up screen. If you're wondering if you can use this projector with all the lights turned on, I would say yes, but it's gonna look much better once all the lights are turned off. It is kind of nice to have all of your apps right there without connecting any external devices, but then it also has the option to connect other devices through the HDMI port. The picture quality on here is definitely one of the better ones that I've tested. It's got nice contrast, and I think most people will enjoy watching movies or TV shows on here. You can also connect more Mobile devices to this and you could even use this for presentations since text on here is nice and sharp you can also play mobile games retro games connect pretty much anything with HDMI I even tested out Rocket League on my Xbox and that plays fairly smooth on here as well without too much lag so that's always nice to see and I gotta say if you want to use the built-in speaker this one is really loud probably almost too loud for most people when it's turned all the way up at least for a medium-sized room but I was just surprised surprised at how good this sounds. However, one problem with the sound that I noticed when testing is when I connected devices through the HDMI port, I couldn't figure out how to turn the volume up and down using the remote control. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, but the only way I could control audio when I had a device connected through HDMI was either using the auxiliary port or connecting a Bluetooth speaker, and then you could control it through the external speaker. So sort of weird to see that issue, but if you plan on using an external speaker anyways, 
anyways, or if you just always use the Android TV part, I don't think that's gonna be an issue for most people. But other than that weird audio issue with the HDMI connection, I think this is one of the better projectors that I've tested so far, as far as picture quality, overall sound, and just how loud the built-in speaker is. So yeah, this is a projector that you should definitely check out. So I would say this is definitely a projector that you should check out.